The athletics category is one of the most popular with both men and women viewers. God bless America. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Let's pause. Everyone take your right hand to your heart. And we are going to pledge our cult-like allegiance. Wrestling in the Olympics is not a popular sport with viewers, with less than 3% of people turning on the Olympics saying they enjoy watching wrestling. 42 total sports have been included in the Olympics at some point. Which sport made its debut at the Paris 2024 Olympics. I don't know. Break dancing. Are you serious? Tennis was the only sport in which exactly the same amount of men and women prefer to watch it. What year do you think women were first permitted to compete in the Olympic Games? I'll say the 1920s. 1900. So they had only held the Olympics once or twice before women were competing. Once upon a time, a young woman in a quaint little town in Oklahoma popped out a giant baby. One of the first people to see this baby remarked by god that's one buster of a baby from then on that giant ass baby was known as buster and that giant ass baby buster is here with us now for the 274th episode of tennis podcast buster what was your first thought as a baby when you were referred to as a buster of a baby like damn put me back in this is not what i expected (laughs) i have i can't just be fed uh from a tube that's connected to my stomach anymore i have to actually ask for things Mm mm-hmm we're doing a we're doing a restart on this one. We really should all be equipped with two lifetimes, right? You get one that's like a practice trial or a dry run, a draft, and then you get a second one after that to kind of absolutely be more smarter. You know, to tack that on, I've been talking with several clients recently in my work about there is no sufficient replacement for experience when it comes to wisdom, life experience, and how. The ignorance of the youth is just something you can't avoid because you haven't experienced it yet. But if you were to have a whole lifespan in which you could go through life, experience everything, gather millions of data points for empathy, and then start back over, how much better you, what what a better perspective you'd have from day one. But when you start over and you're a baby again, do you, like, are you able to talk and shit right out of the gate? Do you have your memories? Yeah, that gets complicated. I guess we have to say no, you, you can't talk. And you don't necessarily have your Maybe memory. Maybe you just subconsciously, yeah. as you go through life, like, mm, there we go. Those things layer on those empathies and tendencies that you developed in your first lifetime are kind of just your naturally wisdoms. embedded. How much more interesting is this than whatever bullshit topic you brought? How much more tolerable would every 16 to 25 year old be? If they had already lived a full lifetime before being born again. But then that would also mean once you're like 25 or 30, you're done with life again. You're like, you're a crotchety old man again already in your 30s because you're like, you know, you've done it all already. I don't think so. I mean, I've talked to several older people in the last Mm. few years and who are still very cognitively put together. And they will say, you know, mentally, my mind, I still feel like I'm. In my 20s, even though I feel like a bag of shit because their body's falling apart. But mentally, they're just, they're right there. They're still young. How are the asses on those people? Looking somewhat (laughs) between a fig and a prune. Well, we're going to have to agree to disagree on this one because I think I'd be a crotchety old grumpy man stuck in his ways by age 28. Well, that's because that happened to you on your first go around. So Yeah, on the first go around, it's going to double in intensity (laughs) on the second go around. (laughs) You're going to be a... You're going to be a washed up, has been pricked by age six. Well, speaking of, I don't know, any of that, what uh, what uh, <laughs> related topic did you bring for us today that's well, very related? how can we segue into that? I don't have anything for you. All I can say is that about a month ago, the Olympic Games wrapped up and today- Allegedly. Brought, oh. We don't know that they wrapped up. Sure. Now they're doing the dark Olympics. Like that was like the Olympics they do out front. It's like the dark shadow government. Now they're doing the shadow Olympics. I right. think. So what sports are in the, in the Shadow Olympics? Uh, murdering homeless people. Oh, um, yep. Corrupting your local state government. Insider uh, trading as a politician, but then not actually saying yep. it was insider trading, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, but Working the, for an insurance company is mm, on there. Yeah. That's a 24-7, 365 Olympic <laughs> game. <laughs> but okay, the, the regular Olympics was a month ago, allegedly. So what about yep, it? In Paris and... You would be surprised how difficult it was across several databases to try to find a good top 10 list for like medals won by country or medals won by category or some objective way to stratify information from the Olympics. So I finally stumbled upon one at yougov.com that isn't my favorite 
angle on this, but it leads to some good conversation and, and a good overview and some trivia and fun fact. Well, we'll be the judge the of that. Olympics. Now we're doing the top 15 here because some of the categories I didn't have an impressive amount of notes on. So I just. Wow. Color me shocked. Whoa. Fun. You yeah. didn't have impressive notes. Wow. <laughs> Never heard that before. Oh, fuck me. Anyway, <laughs> these are the 15 sports in which Americans have earned the most Olympic medals. 15 Olympic. most decorated Olympic sports for American athletes. So when you're talking all medals, Olympic medals won by Americans, these are the 15 sports or the 15 categories in which Americans have, have earned the most medals. In the history of the Olympics, the regular yep. Olympics. In the history of the Olympics. Summer Olympics or all Olympics? Summer and winter. Okay. How far back does, do the Olympics go? I'm glad you asked, Nick. When do you think the very Man. first modern Olympics began? I'll say mid-1800s. That's pretty close. Is that the end of the sentence? You're, you're not going to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I, ha I have trivia embedded throughout that I was going to ask oh, okay. you as we went, but right. you went ahead and asked it now, so I got to find the godforsaken... Trivia God point. did forsake it. And I want to talk about it for a minute. God is forsaking all of us after the travesty of the opening ceremony in Paris that was mocking the Last Supper. Can we talk about it? I don't even know what you're referring to because I'm just so disconnected from the Olympics. Oh, really? Okay. Well, we don't have to get into it because it's old news by now for everyone listening. But the Olympic opening ceremony was quote unquote mocking the the last supper by you know they had some sort of performative art thing with people dressed up but turns out and you know american christians are all mad and boycotting shit but it's not even actually the last supper it's a memorial to um what's that greek god uh that likes to party dionysus is that it oh sure yeah um, because the olympics have greek origins sure and so that's what they were paying tribute to American Christians are too fucking stupid to notice it. Um, and the Last Supper in and of itself is also borrowing from a million other religions in the past, but we don't have to get into it. Okay, so the first modern-day Olympic Games were held in 1896. I knew it. So just four years before 1900 Whoa, in what, Athens, what, wait, Greece. Hang on, wait, let's check the math on that. <laughs> okay. What year did you say? Now, where were the first Olympic Games hosted back in... 776 BC. You just told me it was 1896. Okay. That's the modern Olympics. Oh. I think they took a break during, you know, medieval times and when everyone <laughs> was trying to conquer and rape and pillage the whole world together. And survive the Black Death. Yes. There was a big old uh, breaksy wakesy in there where they didn't do the Olympics for like 2,000 years. So your question is, where did the first one take place in 77 whatever? 776 BC. Uh, well, the Roman Empire had fallen by then, so it wouldn't be there. I mean, it, uh, a huge Greece? hint. It, yeah. Do you know what, what city in Greece? Athens, Greece. That's a good guess. It is very apropos to the actual name of the event. Olympia? Olympia, Greece. You didn't know I was an Olympics expert, did you? I guess at some point they were doing the Olympic Games and then the world got a little off balance, a little too helter skelter for everyone. And they said, OK, we're going to have to put this shit on pause and didn't get back to that for a long time. Yeah, uh, over 1,100 years, right? Yeah, nearly 2,000. Well, I actually don't know when they stopped. Oh, you because that was the first one. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Maybe next time we do this topic, we can have a sidekick host that does proper research. But <laughs> yeah, that's not really my style. No, it's not. What is your style? Because it ain't guessing lists either. So what no. is it? No. Well, it's trying to get fired from this show, but for some reason, still saying yes every time I'm, in, I'm invited back. Well, I'm not going to fire myself. Since I'm you. I think we're all sufficiently confused. Don't worry, everyone. Buster's drinking out of a fucking mason jar, pickle <laughs> no. jar, or whatever the hell. <laughs> no, Nick. Contrary to what you might think for me bringing an Olympics list, I am actually admittedly someone who's kind of annoyed by the Olympics. What's your take? Do you enjoy the Olympics? Do you watch them much? I don't have anything against the Olympics, but I do not watch or care. And the only reason I knew about that opening ceremony thing is because it was going viral everywhere. But like, I'm not someone who pays attention to the Olympics. No. You don't go out of your way to watch any of it? No. Do you have a preference if you were to watch it, winter versus summer? Summer, for sure. Why is that? 
Because snow can suck it. <laughs> I find the sports more interesting in summer, you know. Despite you not really going out of your way to watch the Olympics, you do have an Olympic tramp stamp tattoo on your lower back. It, it extends so far, it actually curves around to the side of your hips there. So without peeking yeah. at your tattoo, what are the five colors of the Olympic rings? Okay, not in order. I know red's in there. We got yellow, blue, green. Okay, the last one is either white... Or what else could it be if it's not white? Probably not purple. I'll go white. Hey, I'm impressed. You got four of the five. Red, green, yellow, blue, and black. Black. Black in the Olympics, huh? I wouldn't have thought. Black in the Olympics. In the Olympic rings. logo, that is. Um, yeah. Okay, well, now let me look at my tattoo. I think I got it wrong because I definitely have pink on here. I wonder what the colors stand for. I should look that up. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I'm not going to make the same research joke, but... <laughs> Everyone can refer to about well, you know 90 what? seconds you know ago what? when I said that. What I've actually heard a couple of books say recently is that leftover hanging mystery of being curious about something but not knowing the answer to that, that's relatively dead now with the internet. So there you go, listener. Why don't you just, you just get to sit there and ponder that now for the time being. Don't Google it yourself and just revel in a very, very rare experience for humans anymore of getting to be curious about something without having the answer. Are you done? Can we keep going? Nick, how many athletes do you think compete in the Olympic Games each time? How many big old bulky, lean, sexual young people do you think are getting together for the Olympic Games? Do you have to be 18 or older? No, we'll get into that, actually. Okay, so you're sexualizing children. Got it. Um, so. <laughs> I'll say that there are, man, that's that's hard because I don't even know how many sports are in the Summer Olympics. Yeah, so here here's a big clue. It's a vastly different number depending on whether you're talking winter or summer Olympics, which I thought was interesting. I'll say 1,000. That's not a bad guess. Do you think there's more people for the winter games or the summer games? I would say summer. In summer. And I think that because I think the Summer Olympics are more popular to watch. And I think the sports, there's more team oriented sports in the Summer Olympics as opposed to winter, which is a lot of individual sports. Therefore, the Summer Olympics has more teams. Therefore, there's more people. That's my logic. A lot logic. of grinding on the half pipe, bro, which is by myself. Yep, 9,000 athletes compete in the summer games, while only about 3,000 compete in the winter games. I was way off. I said 1,000. You tricked okay, me. Okay, so enough grab assing. It's time to get to it. What sports do you think Americans have the most medals in? I'm not going to do this well on this. First of all, do you have a... And you probably don't. But do you have any notes about like why the Olympics, how it came to be like anything like that? No, because I focus more on the subcategories of each sport and then a, a few bits of trivia along the way. All right. So let's one thing I will say, there's a slant to this. So you might think, OK, what sports are particularly American? OK, that's going to that is going to have some bias in here for what they have medals in. But one thing to also consider is what categories of the Olympics have a lot of medals to be had in the first place. Right. That's what I'm thinking of. And that is going to skew, like, I'd say the top half of the list. Let's go with an American favorite, basketball. Basketball. Now, while the U.S. men have the most gold medals for basketball out of any country, they've won 16 out of the 20 times that it has been on, on offer. That's only 16 gold medals. because. There's only one gold medal each Olympic Games in the category of basketball. And for some comparison, number 15 on the list today is 39 gold medals. And that's because in each of these, there are subcategories to each sport. So there are 16 for American, American gold medals in basketball, but number 15 on this list has over 30 something. 39, yep. Because wow. all of these on the list have different classes. Let's go volleyball. Not on here. I can start giving you some clues if you'd like. I want you to take those clues, <laughs> roll them up into a tight little ball, and shove them right up your ass, please. I know there's like 100 categories for running and sprinting, so I'm just going to say running, and you can okay. narrow me in from there. Now, listener at home. Please don't get mad with Nick. Please <laughs> be understanding of him. <laughs> Please. Be, let's be patient. We were talking about that lifetime acquired wisdom and empathy before. Let's have that for Nick. Let's forgive him for guessing number one right off the, right off Whoa, the bat. Whoa, number one. <clears throat> 
Now, I'm going to guess Listeners this can't because... can't see, but I'm flexing. God, he's my, flexing, my... He's flexing each butt cheek one at a time. No, no, it's look, really impressive. My brain right? is flexing right now. <sighs> Number that, one. That reminds me, we, our child uh, has a few toys from a company called Fat Brain Toys. And there's something about that name I just really don't like. Okay, uh, you've somehow made the Olympics <laughs> all about your <laughs> under two-year-old child. Got it. It's all about you. So... This category is called athletics, Uh, (laughs) running, jumping, discus, shot put, pole vault, triple jump, long jump, javelin, et cetera. It's all the track. They're all combined. Right. So that's That's why it's number one. Yeah. It's kind of a fake number one because there's so many categories, which is another reason I brought the top 15. So we could talk more about these fucking cheating categories. So Mm -hmm. 827 medals for Americans in athletics. When it comes to popularity, the athletics category is one of the most popular, but with both men and women viewers, about a third of people who tune into the Olympics say that they enjoy the athletics category. Yeah, but when you say that, you really mean I enjoy one of these 98 different cat- subcategories. Possibly. Sure. Yeah. But they ask him about the athletics umbrella category to begin with. Well, I got to say, 827 gold medals for Americans in the athletics category. If I'm Going for the Olympics, I say, nothing special about winning a gold medal in this category. <laughs> Fucking everyone and their mothers won one of these. That's Let me right. Go for basketball or one of these other categories that has fewer gold medals. It's just the, the whole thing surrounding Olympic athletes. And let's say your competition is the shot put discus or the long jump. Your ass is training almost as a full time job. Maybe a part time no, no, job. No, no, not almost. When you get to the Olympic level, that is your full time job. Right, but they're You're not getting paid. They're all either they must be wealthy, right? Because their no, parents they're and sponsored. like they're, they're sponsored. Well, well not okay. every uh, not every athlete, there, right? There's a variety. You're right, but I think for the most part, uh, and when I say sponsored, I don't mean by like corporations. I mean like um, people raise money for them to go. I guess I just think about some of them uh, have a full time job, and then when they're done, they go throw a heavy metal disc all night in preparation for getting to throw it a handful of times every four years. It's so intense. And then when it's over and you win that medal, or even if you don't win the medal, what's waiting for you on the other side? Right. You know, you'll have a few months of notoriety and interviews and talk shows. After that, there's no future financially. And I mean, I guess if you're a coach or something, but it's back to the grind, bub. Back to the grind, bub. That's why I don't do the Olympics. Like, I think I could win a gold medal in every category, but there's just not enough money in it for me. So I choose not to do it. What would be your your preferred sport of competition? Probably list guessing. List get Well, I think you stand a chance after seeing yeah. your impeccable performance over these last, I'd say, you really hit your stride in these last 50 episodes. What's your ass-related sport that you would choose to do buster i mean we know booty clapping but is there anything else i mean is providing a variety of different sounding toots would that be an olympic sport within a 10 minute time span you have to create as many different sounding farts as possible (laughs) and you have a panel of judges (laughs) who, who who try to weigh in on the variation i think that's i i could probably compete for that you hear that noise that's not the sound of a toot that's the sound of 90 percent of our listeners turning this podcast off <laughs> so i'm gonna steer us away well it was too easy to say the booty clap right yeah I mean, that, right. that's the low-hanging fruit i had to go with something different give us another guess let's go swimming next swimming my god it's like he's marching right down the list two number two Knew it. Now, this is because there's freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, medley, freestyle relay, medley relay, open water. And in each of those, there's one, two, three, four different distances. So there's a lot of medals up for grabs. So number one at 827 Americans winning a gold medal. God bless America. (laughs) Yeah, you know what? You're right. Let's pause. Everyone take your right hand to your heart. And we are going to pledge... Our cult-like allegiance. With 28 medals, who's the most decorated Olympian of all time? In just swimming or period? Well, I'll say the hint is I'm asking you this while we're discussing swimming. Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. Yeah, boy. (laughs) No, not my boy, but he's a boy, yeah. (laughs) He's a boy. Last, Last I heard. Sure. Swimming, man. 
28 medals for Brutal. Him? Yeah. Are they all gold? No. Okay. 28 medals. Just 28 uh, medals, many, period. How many medals have Americans won in swimming total? You never told me. Five, nine, seven. Buster, you think you'd do better at swimming than I can't wait for you to listen to the playback and hear that I did answer that before. But that's okay. Because you know what? I got you. You're like my uncle with dementia. I'm not going to remind you that you've already told me what you had for breakfast. You three literally times. are reminding me I'm right just, now. All right. Next category. <laughs> <laughs> well, Those this gets th- hard because like a lot of my guesses are all falling in the athletics category. So let me think for a minute. Is football an Olympic sport? It is not. Well, I, I meant American football. Now, what about just football, like soccer? It is a summer sport, but it's not a top American yeah, medal. That's not surprising. Category. And again, my ignorance. Is baseball an Olympic sport? I don't think so. Now, here's an interesting thing. Initially, and this is related to one of your recent guesses, initially started as a recreational sport for American soldiers during World War II. What sport will make its debut in the 2028 Summer Olympic Games? I don't know. I have no idea. What is it? It's football, but they won't be needing pads because it is... Flag football is going to okay. be an Olympic sport, which, come on. What? What's I your problem know. with that? I don't know. Buster. It just doesn't seem, you know, the Olympics is kind of like a track and field vibe to me. Well, that's your closed mindedness coming up. And also flag football. I put that in that category. Ish. I suppose. I mean, yeah. I didn't know you were such a flag football snob. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a guess. Completely off topic. Okay. Uh, isn't figure skating? An Olympic sport? Figure skating is an Olympic sport. It is on the list. Where do you think it ranks in, Nick, for American medals? Nine. Nine. Add three. You get 12. Well, we got to check the math, but for now, I don't want to derail the show, so I'll trust your, your, your math on that. Figure skating comes in at number 12 at 53. That is a big drop from number one and two. Every time I see figure skating and the dancing and the spinning and twirls and shit, I just think, what the fuck? I'm so <laughs> impressed. <laughs> How do they do it? Beyond impressed. I know. For- I know. What what blows my mind, too, is, you know, when you get to the Olympics, you're at, you're at this elite level, right? But if you go way back in time, they had to they had to practice all that stuff for a first time at some point. And how they don't fucking break their ankle, and I'm, I'm sure some of them do. But how anyone can get past the point of trying and, to, and practicing and to like perfecting it the way it's at the Olympics is wild to me. So many of them start so young and they start ice skating when they're two, three, four years old, practicing all the time. They grow up, their family does it. They're very much encouraged. Then they start competing and learning those dance moves and lifts and jumps. And it's just super impressive. You're not going to get an argument from me, bub. What was the first U.S. city to host? The Olympics. This is a surprising one to me because it doesn't it doesn't scream international athlete competition. What year was it? I don't know. All I have, all I have is okay. the location. Well, the only city I know off the top of my head was in 1996 because there was the big uh, bombing there. Atlanta. But I don't know if there was a city before that. St. Louis, Missouri. I'm going to look up what year that was. Please do. Please put in some work for this show for once. Jesus Christ. 1904. What was even in St. Louis in 1904? Trees? (laughs) Fucking trees, probably. (laughs) Um, Was there any roads in Missouri in 1904? Well, there wasn't roads in most of the world. Oklahoma wasn't even a state. No, there were several not yet states yet. That is crazy. Yeah. So you hate St. Louis. That's what you said. It's a gateway to the West, brother. Alex Johns, our favorite sidekick host, who I would much, much, (laughs) much, much rather have here right now, comes to us from St. Louis. Okay, so figure skating was 12. Is diving part of swimming? No, it's its own category, you uncultured bitch guy. (laughs) Is it on here? <laughs> yes, it's on here. Uh, I'll give you one more guess because there is quite a few different categories. Of diving? Of diving. You got the three meter spring- springboard, the 10 meter springboard that's individual and synchronized. But why aren't those all under one category like swimming was? Well, they are. It's all diving. Oh, I see. You're saying it's probably higher than 10 because there's multiple categories. Right. right. Okay. I thought you meant there. Were, it took three spots on the list. Okay, so... Diving will go number five. Four. 
I knew it. Diving comes in all the way up at number four, 139 U.S. medals. How many medals did you say just now? Jesus Christ, 139. You couldn't win 139 medals in diving. <laughs> Not even I close. I couldn't win one. A panel of judges score each dive based on various criteria, including how aesthetically pleasing a diver's movements are, including the shape of the ass, the complexity of the <laughs> dive, <laughs> and... <laughs> And how well, well the diver enters the water. Yeah. Yeah. One of the judges is just ass only. <laughs> yeah. They pan over to one of the judges and he zoomed in on like one of those screens that you you put your face on like NFL refs do when they're looking at the yep. slow-mo replay. <laughs> and they, they show the footage that the, that the judge is looking at. And it's just a very zoomed in shot of the diver's ass like jiggling as they do all the flips and twirls in the air. And he goes into the water and he looks over and he's like, hmm, six. <laughs> Couldn't fit your ass in one of those looky <laughs> things. Two cameras. Me too. <laughs> one for one each, on each cheek. cheek. Synchronized diving is also scored on how well the two divers match each other's movements. Now, this leads me to an interesting question. What do you think about Olympic games that are either scored on some objective time measure or a panel of judge scores? Because I know some people really kind of poo-poo the judge-included sports. Yeah, I was going to bring this up. To me, it seems different than a sport that has a clear winner and loser, like an objective winner and loser. I'm not saying the people that dive aren't incredibly talented and could whoop my ass at diving. But to me, when you have a panel of judges, it begs the question of like, okay, well, why isn't singing an Olympic sport? You could have a panel of judges for that. Why isn't pottery an Olympic sport? You could have a, you know what I mean? It's like, where does it end? So yeah, I guess when I think about, you know, diving is kind of an athletic thing. But sure. I just wonder, how could one objectively measure diving competition? Well, you can't objectively measure. Right. That's, I guess that's the difficulty. At what age did the youngest athlete to ever win an individual Olympic medal? How old was? It was 12. Oh, my God. What sport? She, she took home the Olympic gold medal for the breaststroke in 1936. Wow. Inga Sorensen of Denmark. Where's she from? Denmark, okay. I can't imagine being good enough at anything at age 12 to win the global Olympics. Yeah, that means she whooped every other lady's ass of every age around the whole globe. Something in the water in Denmark. That's cool. That's, well, huh? Yeah. Her name Literally, is Inga. Literally, it's her. Inga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Diving. Hi, everyone. Stephen Clark here to say that I think we can all agree that the news these days is almost all bad. Wars and scandals and insurrections and those goddamn expensive Taylor Swift tickets. But I'm here to tell you that not all news is bad because my number one news source is the Tennis Podcast newsletter. It's a free monthly newsletter delivered right to my inbox that helps me stay up to date on the latest world news, like a first look at the upcoming Tennis Podcast episodes. Newsletter subscribers like me know the topics for a month's worth of upcoming episodes way in advance. And that means that I knew the topic of the episodes you're listening to right now like a month ago. It's like I'm a time traveler. Plus, as a newsletter subscriber, I get to consume Dr. Buster's ass. I mean, Dr. Buster's exclusive blog, The Sidekick Corner. It's the next best thing to grabbing a handful of dap booty. If that's not enough, the newsletter also features behind the scenes updates from Nick, merch discount codes, and more. You just go to TennisPod.com slash newsletter, enter your email address, and you're in. You'll get the next Tennis Podcast newsletter in your inbox just like that. The link is in the show notes. Now, turn off that boring Fox News and come join me in getting the only news source you truly need, the Tennis Podcast newsletter. I'm ready to dive into another guess. Please. Let's go with the sport that you and I sometimes do pre and post recording. <laughs> and that is wrestling. Wrestling. Where do you think it comes in on the list? Wow. Um, I'll go eight. Number three. Number All three. Wow. At number three. Now, there's not that many categories. There's a few weight categories. I think this is because it is an Amer more of an American sport, and they're focused on it, and Americans are good at wrestling, would be my guess. 142 Olympic medals. I don't know. Like, 
it's I think it's an American sport, but when you see some of like these, you know, Eastern European Bigfoot looking wrestlers coming in, you know, <laughs> it's hard to imagine beating their asses, but I guess well, we do they it. might they might have the size, but maybe they don't they don't have the technical moves. Now wrestling in the Olympics is not a popular sport with viewers, with less than three percent of people turning on the Olympics saying they enjoy watching wrestling. That's surprising. To me it's one of the better it's one of the more exciting ones because it's yeah, fast why is that? Pace. Mm. <laughs> fast paced, a lot of butt clenching. <laughs> um but it's just like I don't know, you're not having to I don't know. I mean I don't watch it, so I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. But <laughs> To me, like out of everything we've listed so far, the thing I'd most want to watch is athletics. The thing I'd second most want to watch is probably figure skating and then wrestling. Why don't you take another guess? What else is there? Only two remaining on the list are in the Winter Olympics. The rest are all summer sports. No boarding? Nope. Not up there, even though Sean White, an American, is, I think, holds the most gold medals for snowboarding. If you say so. Skiing? All right. There is a type of skiing, but more specifically, it is alpine skiing, which includes downhill slalom, giant slalom, and super giant slalom, and then combined events. Now, slalom, giant slalom, and super giant slalom. What does that mean? Those are just widely, those are those, those, <laughs> those gates that they have to go downhill and they have to go whoosh, 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 left and right, go around the gates. But the different events, slalom giant and super giant, the gates are just further apart. Are you making up words? Super giant is an that Olympic. That's literally term. what it's called. Super giant slalom. Yeah, fuck yeah! I'm training <laughs> for the next four years. What do you do? What are you going to the Olympics for? Super giant slalom, man. And pan around to everyone, going, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> That's what I would be doing. Well. I'll go six on this one. 13. Mm. Down at number 13. Alpine it. skiing, 48 American medals. Now, you might be asking, on the opposite side of this, what are the sports that America only has one gold medal in? So, fun fact, there are zero sports in which America has not won a medal. Americans have won a medal. because many the sports are there? Best. Um <laughs> <laughs> but there God. are five sports in which Americans have only won one medal ever for the Olympics. They are. By the way, wait, if anyone's wondering, there's 40 sports in the Olympics. There's got to be more than that. Well, I think those are the top line categories, right? Is that across both summer and winter? It says, this is just a Google search. It says there's 40 sports in the Olympics, 32 in the Paris 2024 Summer Games, and eight in the Milana Milano Cortina 2026 Winter Olympics. Only eight winter sports? Really? Well, up here it says 42 total sports have been included in the Olympics at some point. Crazy. Yeah. It's less well, than I color thought. me surprised. All right. You were about to say? Yep. America only has one gold medal in the ski jump. Okay. Karate. <laughs> oh, karate. I would which, never would have guessed that. Which is funny that that's an Olympic sport. Sport climbing, I guess that means get to the top as fast as possible. Lacrosse, which is a sport I still don't understand. And surfing. Surfing. Now, surfing seems like an interesting one because you are beholden to the elements of the day when you're out there trying to compete. Yeah. And and how do they observe them? I was just thinking, how do you spectate that? Yeah, I just... That's an interesting... Well, yeah, no, me. I agree with what you're saying. Everyone who's surfing or ever surfed is not really talented <laughs> and shouldn't be in the Olympics. I agree. <laughs> I get the subtext. Okay. You're making me think of other sports here. What about rowing? Row, row, row your goddamn <laughs> boat. Uh huh. Gently down the stream, but not that gently because we need you to go faster. So, no rowing. Rowing is on the list. Where do you think it oh, is? 11. Seven. I knew it. Which rhymes. So, you get credit. 89. 89 gold medals for rowing for Americans. You might be asking, Buster, what type of rowing is there? Well, Nick, I'm glad you asked. Sculling and sweeping. Of course. The difference. Well, one has a broom and the other does. Sculling is where rowers each use two oars, one in each hand, and they're sitting in the middle of the boat. Sweep rowing is when each rower uses a single oar and they're sitting side by side. And there's single events, doubles, lightweights, quadruples. And in sweeping, you've got coxless pairs, coxless fours, and eights with a coxswain. Do you know what a coxswain is? Did you say they were cockless? 
the coxless, which is uh, that means they are rowing without a coxswain. Do you know what a coxswain is? This uh, is spelled C O X S W A I N. I can't even come up with a joke right now. No, I don't know what it is. A coxswain sits in either the bow or the stern of the boat while verbally and physically controlling the boat's steering speed, timing, and fluidity. So basically just like harassing and coordinating <laughs> yeah. the team while they row. Yeah. So it's kind of like that's the Nick Amell's You're the pod. coxswain of the tennis pod. And the sidekick hosts are the ones rowing. Yep. Yeah. You got it. Got it. Some of them rowing better than others. Some of them rowing way better than others. We're not going to name names. It, that yeah. wouldn't be nice, Nick. We don't need to do no, that. No, it wouldn't. Okay. Rowing. Look, I respect every athlete on this list for sure. Fully respect you. Couldn't ever do what you're doing. You're amazing. You're talented. But I cannot imagine being a five-year-old kid and looking around being like that. Rowing. That's what I want to dedicate my life to. And so many people devote their high school career, college career. They're up every morning out on the river rowing. I associate it especially with the Northeast. College is up in the Northeast of America. That's a, that's a lifestyle, man. It's not for this podcast host. That's for sure. Now, tug of war <laughs> oh, tug was of an war. Olympic sport. Until what year? 1940-something. 1920. Tug of war. Now tug that's of war one, belongs, I, feel like, I think. I know. I feel, I'd rather tug of war than some of the other shit. That reminds me. What about rope climbing? Rope climbing. It's not just what I do on Friday nights. It's not on the list. Is that even a sport in the Olympics? I don't know. I, I don't think so. <laughs> if it I'll were, go sticking. <laughs> if it were, I bet it's in athletics. Uh, why, why don't you recap where we are so far? Why don't I not? I'd rather not. We'll recap after you get one more, because I like to control the pace of this show. Yeah. Yeah, we all are very thankful for that. Okay, so <laughs> speed reading. <laughs> no, but speed something is in here. I don't know that one. I'm it's gonna... a winter sport. Speed. They wear these crazy helmets that look like the original Rebel helmets in Star Wars. They're very circular, but they've got a pointy end on the back of them. Well, what else is there besides snowboarding and skiing? It happens indoors on ice. Some sort of skating? Ice hockey? Speed skating. Okay, whatever. It's, where it's like a big circle out on the ice. They blow the whistle, and those... They haul ass and they, and dude, it's crazy to watch their foot placement as they're turning. First of all, they're bent over at like a 45 degree angle to the side <laughs> and how they stay vertical. I don't know. It, it's just speed skating is one of those things that is fascinating to watch. I'm not even convinced it's real. I don't think I've seen it. Do a quick Google search. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> speed skating. It comes in at number eight at 71. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to guess it's number eight. Ah, uh, and you know what? Something about the number seventy-one. Is there seventy-one American medal winners? And why, why don't I pull out an oldie but a goodie from Nick? Oh, do you have a copy of my list over there? <laughs> <laughs> You're cheating! Wow. Okay. Speed uh, skating at number eight. Speed I, I dating. Just... That'd be a hmm. fun why Olympic isn't that on sport there, to watch. <laughs> okay. Now, are we able to do a recap? No. No, because I need to ask you enough? first. Which sport made its debut at the Paris 2024 Olympics? Oh, fuck, I have no idea. Is it related to skating? No. Bowling? No, but I do think that that is an Olympic sport. I don't know. It's one I have a hard time considering to be an Olympic sport. Ping pong. That's also a good guess. Break dancing. Are you serious? I'm serious. That's what I was saying earlier about like the judges. Where does it begin and stop, right? It's <laughs> right. like... <laughs> Anything can be a sport. Yeah. All right. So here we go. These are the top 15. We're recapping. You've got 13. That changed your mind. Let's not recap yet. <laughs> Done. This has been great, everyone. Thank you. Yep. Episode Who Gives a Shit on the Whatever Podcast. Rate us five stars. Leave a review. Yeah. On Who cares? All right. Number 13, Alpine Skiing. 12, Figure Skating. 8, Speed Skating. 7, Rowing. 4, Diving. Three, wrestling. Two, swimming. One, athletics. Everything left on here is a summer sport. I'm just going to say a few in a row, and you let me know if any of them are on here. Okay, hold on. Or do you want me to do, you want to do that, or do you want me to start giving you some hints? I told you what to do with your hints. Do you not remember? <laughs> Have you not done that yet? This whole time I had assumed you'd already done that. Okay, let's Stuff pause. Stop them in a sack, mister. Take the hints, shove them up your ass. Let's do it right now, real quick. Boxing. Boxing is on the list. Okay. Americans like to box, I think. We'll go nine on that. Six. 
I knew it. Coming in at 118 medals. There's multiple different weight classes. Sometimes you got to wait 10 minutes. Sometimes you got to wait 20. Sometimes you got to wait 30. Yeah, I get it. It's psychological warfare for the different classes. How long do you have to wait before you can start boxing? They just stare at each other. They're not allowed to talk. They're not allowed to move. They just make eye contact with each other. They're sitting about three feet apart. A staring contest should be an Olympic sport. <laughs> Rock, paper, Ooh. scissors. Hey, there's one you wouldn't even need judges for. You you yeah. can know. You have video evidence. Who blinked first? I like it better than breakdancing. How about slapping? Like that slapping lead. <laughs> that... <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Whoever gives up first. All right, boxing. What about it? Well, I don't have any other notes because cool. I'm like, great. No, be hard great to content. make that Thank interesting. You very much. Now, at what age do you think the oldest athlete was who won an Olympic gold medal. Oscar Schwann from Sweden took gold for show. shooting. Shooting like a gun? Yeah, shooting Is clay that targets. I guess so. There's no ath- athleticism involved in that. Take it up with the shooting <laughs> okay. crowd, which I don't think you want to take it up with the no. shooting crowd. I don't think many of them are listening anyway. Let's go. Uh, well, if you're just shooting... Fucking 78 years old then. Yeah, 72. Okay, whatever. Now, I've heard that like sexual hookups are rampant at the at the uh, Olympics when all the athletes get into town. Do you think Sweden's Oscar Swan was partaking in, in the sexual hookup? Think he's probably fucking his own gun. Am I right? <laughs> Double barrel. So yes, the answer is yes. What was his name? Oscar what? Swan. Didn't you say there was some cox swan or something for the cox. for rowing cox uh cox swain oh, okay hmm. if you say so all right well what about tennis tennis it's on here it's number five 15 times Whoa, that, way down there times that sucker by three 39 gold medals 11 of which are the venus or the the Williams sisters, Venus and Serena. That's crazy. They have almost a third of all America's medals in this one. Yeah. Sport. I play tennis. It's the first thing we've talked about where I can be like, oh, I know that one. Yeah. I do that one. So have you competed yet or are you thinking about it? Yeah. You said the Venus sisters won 11. I won the other 28. <laughs> right. Yeah. That movie King Richard was just about you mm. trying to teach them everything you knew. Now, of all the sports in which they pulled men and women, whether they like to watch it or not. Tennis was the only sport in which exactly the same amount of men and women prefer to watch it. Breaking down sex barriers, tennis. Tennis. It really is, though, because of the Billie Jean King story. Now, here's an interesting tidbit. I started to kind of started to come across when I was looking at how many medals were won by each country at each game. There is a very clear home field advantage. The country that tends to host the Olympic Games takes home way more medals than they would on average. What could the reason for that being other than like, you know, the psychological advantage of performing in front of your friends and family? But you're going to do that anyway. Your friends and family are probably going to come to whatever country you're competing in, aren't they? Yeah, but like, you know, so let's say the the games in Paris this year, everyone who was a French competitor. I mean, you've got so many people, so many locals from France going to all the events. You got your home team crowd cheering your on, cheering your ass on. It's also less travel, less time zone changes. You're used to the weather conditions. Depending on what country you're from in the hemisphere, you might do, be doing a total season change as well. Supportive crowd, the types of food served in the kitchen, is it the type of food that you're used to, etc. Now you might think something as silly as like, oh, different food coming from the kitchen. But if you're talking about sprint racing where every hundredth of a second counts and you're not on your A game because you're going to Los Angeles. Because you, you, ate, a fucking, you ate a sloppy joe at the, in the right. cafeteria. And that's not what you're used to eating, then yeah, it might slow you down a bit. Yeah, it's funny. Whenever the Olympics come to America, the food in the kitchen's <laughs> like sloppy joe, chicken nuggets, <laughs> mac and Pizza. cheese. <laughs> and then when they go to the other countries, it's something probably a little more sustainable. It's fruits and greens and everything's displayed beautifully. And I looked it up, but do you know which country in all the world has won the most Olympic medals? Yes, I do. I wonder if our research gives us the same answer. I am seeing that the United States has won the most. I would agree with that assessment at 1,022 total medals. Oh, that's Those just gold medals. Gold medals, yeah. I'm seeing America number one, then the now defunct Soviet Union, and then Germany. Right. You've got five sports remaining, all summer sports. One of them includes an animal. Horse riding. Horseback riding. 
Horseback riding, also known as equestrian. Is number 10. Close. 11. I knew it. 54 medals for equestrian. Now, Nick is a big horse person, so he doesn't know. He doesn't have to be told this, but I can tell this for all the listeners. There's three categories, jumping, dressage, and eventing, which is a combination. Jumping is when the riders and the horse are timed as they jump over obstacles and they try not to knock down the bars. And you turn around and say, God, damn stupid horse. And then dressage is the most advanced form of horse training. A horse and rider perform artistically in a series of movements to music. Judges evaluate the ease and fluidity with which they move around the course. The thing about fucking horseback riding, I'm impressed with it, especially the last thing you said. They're fucking doing a fucking, you know, wicked New York Broadway play or something for the judges at the Olympics. <laughs> you are depending on an animal to cooperate to such a perfect, precise degree at a perfect, precise time. You talked about the the food in the kitchen for these Olympic athletes. What if the fucking horse has a tummy ache that day? There's all kinds of shit that can go wrong with a horse. And so many of those horses were just flown halfway across the world a few days ago. That's wild. little horse planes. The plane is actually shaped like a horse, I think. (laughs) Well, no, I'm pretty sure they just ride the horse to the Olympic Games. (laughs) Okay, the horse just jumps really far and high. They make it all the way across. Well, if they're if they're going to compete in jumping, they need to start working on those jumping skills. And that was the Greek jumping over the ocean. Was it Apollo that had the chariot that went over the sun? Yeah. So maybe Apollo just loans his chariot out every few years for the horses to get to and from. Sweet chariot. Okay. I thought of another one. Fencing. Fencing. Putting up fences. Nope, not on the list. (laughs) Putting up fences. Installing fences the (laughs) fastest. No. Uh, So sword sword fight fencing is not on here? Nope, not on the list. Is there any sort of vehicle sport? Yes. Okay, so racing of some kind. Yes. I don't know what they're racing. Fucking... uh... They're in the water. Oh, they're not... Okay. Jet ski racing? (laughs) I don't know. Uh, now, that is the sport in which America would be taking home the gold, for sure. Boat? But not on, it is a type of boat. Speedboat racing? No motor. This is, I'm so fucking ignorant on this shit. There's no motor, so sailboat racing? Sailing is an Olympic <laughs> sport. I didn't know <laughs> you that. you got to be kidding me. Sailing. Number 14. 60 medals total. Wind surfing, which is where you're just like standing and holding on to the thing, and then they're racing, trying to get to across the finish line first then you've got kite sailing dinghy and skiff and then the dinghy and the multi-hull are like bigger sailboats i think i have put my dinghy in a multi-hull before for sure (laughs) i didn't get a medal for it though ah he's here all day folks but at least you made it on the podium why is sailing in here but fucking like race car right racing is not and maybe it is actually maybe race well okay i don't think any type of car racing is why not go-kart racing why not rollerblade racing rollerblade like, racing it's just, like it's roller just interesting derby. to That's me a good one. how they choose what does and does not get into the olympics i know there's like some committee that hears all this and but like i don't know break, that dancing? break dancing gets in but not and again car just to be ultra clear we are not saying it does not take talent and athleticism to be a good break dancer it does take those things but to me it's like break dancing belongs less than yeah they all take talent so my argument is not just to exclude more but if we're gonna include break dancing we should also include roller derby this is a rare issue where we are in agreement bub three more uh any other let me ask you this is my hint so let's pull this out of your ass real quick. <laughs> is there anything else that requires something other than the person's body? So they're either yes. holding something, driving something. Okay. Let's stop there. Badminton. No. Anything with a racket? No. Anything that is drivable? Yes. Another water sport? Motorcycle? I don't know. Dirt bike? Colder. Motorcycles closer? I don't know. It's not a motor. Oh, cycling, of course. Bicycle. Bicycle. Um, Cycling. cycling bicycle racing whatever yeah okay cycling cycling is number five nine nine that's what i meant to say 62 total medals track cycling includes three different types of sprint events and then there's three different types of endurance races and then there's outdoor biking and mountain biking road cycling and also bmx cycling reminds me of skateboarding is that on here skateboarding is not on here 
I was going to mention, there are some fascinating different categories for cycling, including team pursuit. Each team starts on opposite sides of an oval track. I think this is mostly indoors. They have to cover a distance of four kilometers. There's a team of four riders, and they have to stay in a line really close to one another. So they look like this caterpillar. And the front person can peel off and go to the back. They're using each other's slipstream. So it's and they're going the same direction around the track. It's the first team to either cover a distance of four kilometers or make it to the other team. Like if you can catch up to the other team, then the event is over. So that that is that so dangerous. Category is called <laughs> team pursuit. Sounds like a video game title. That's like shit I've never heard of. No, like how how, how have all these sports gone under the radar for our whole lives? Because <laughs> sure. we don't watch well, the Olympics. It's because we don't watch the Olympics. But people who are avid Olympics fans are like, no shit well i gotta say i've been on this earth 34 plus years allegedly i've never heard anyone fucking talk about some of this shit you got two left they're both only using one's body but you are interacting with other objects that can fit into your hands is there a ball no balls these athletes don't have balls uh it takes a lot of balls to do both of these sports metaphorically of course bull riding metaphorically speaking no. Give me another hint. We're going to start. We're going to go down here at number 14 first. I think this is very dangerous and injury and a very easy way to injure oneself. The two different categories are called the snatch and the clean oh, and jerk. Weightlifting. Weightlifting. 46 total medals coming in at number 14. Weightlifting. Watching the videos of Olympic weightlifting gives me anxiety. It All is these like, do. But weightlifting in particular is like so much can go wrong. Like why? What? I, I, I don't get the draw. To watch or to participate? I guess both. Well, watching is interesting, but to, to put your body through that and all the shit that can go wrong and just how injury prone that sport is. Watching the, I watched a YouTube video of what the snatch and the clean and jerk were, like an instructional guide and... That is intense. Why don't you explain them for us? They're putting so much weight. Well, you're taking a, a bar, uh, you're taking a long barbell that's wider than your own body. That's, I mean, for some of these athletes, they're lifting like four, five, six hundred pounds. They hoist it off the ground, and it's like resting on their hands near their shoulders, kind of. Mm-hmm. bumping it up to their chest then they throw it up over their head and they let it drop behind their head onto their back then they throw it back up in the air while kicking one of their feet out for a better balance and then they drop it back to the ground this is snatch the snatch is where you throw it up to just your neck area holding it in the palm of your hand by your chest the clean and jerk is where it goes above the head back behind the head and then they set it God, back what down if you dropped it above your head man uh, and it's um well i just as a person with back pain <laughs> oh man it's hard to watch that yeah but uh, and imagine the dieting and the training they have to do their whole lives to get to that yeah point. and you win by being able to put up more weight than other people yeah i i i was going down a road where i was real close to joining the olympic team for this one right and I just decided my talents were needed here and in, in, on tennis podcast more. So I had to sacrifice. Yeah. Nick Amell and weightlifting are Synony- synonymous to me. They go, they go hand in hand for sure. So I just need number five. Yes. Have I even come close to it? This one, there's currently what I would argue one of the more, if not the most famous American Gymnast. Olympic athlete. Gym- yeah. Simone Biles. Yeah, yeah. Gymnastics. That's what gave it away. Gymnastics. Number five. How did I guess this last? I'm ashamed. 118. On your worst day, you're gonna let you're gonna guess a list at least a hundred times better than me. So don't be that embarrassed. I'm actually offended that you said a hundred times when it should have been (laughs) twenty billion times better. Gymnastics is very popular for women viewers, but not as popular for men viewers of the Olympics. It includes floor exercise, floor exercise, pommel horse, rings, vaults, parallel bars, horizontal bars, and combined exercises. Team competitions, the final qualifying score is made up of the top three scores from six different apparatuses for men and the best three scores from four different ap- apparatuses. Uh, apparatuses for women apparatus <laughs> that's a joke <laughs> what year do you think women were first permitted to compete in the olympic games like period any sport yeah that's an interesting question so women 
at least in America, gained the right to vote in 1919. So when would women worldwide be able to compete in the Olympics? Well, it's earlier than I thought. I'll say the 1920s. 1900. 1900. Wow, that is Which earlier is neat. than I thought. Yeah. yeah, so they had only held the Olympics once or twice before women were competing. That is surprising, but good. Should have been from day one, but people are dumb, bro. Yes, sir. So I'll take us back through. That is the full list, the top 15 categories for American athlete medals in the Olympics. 15, tennis. 14, weightlifting. 13, alpine skiing. 12, figure skating. 11, equestrian. 10, sailing, nine, cycling, eight, speed skating, seven, rowing with the coxswain, seven, boxing, five, gymnastics, four, diving, three, wrestling, two, swimming, and one, athletics. Which includes running, jumping, all that. Which includes nope. every feasible track meet style event. Where was sword fighting? And by that, I mean like when two guys are peeing in the same toilet and <laughs> battling with their streams. Is that number four? I That's think you said? one I've been training for, and I'm hoping oh, okay. that they include it in the Olympics in the future. I'd rather you train for that than the, the, the ass noises one you were trying to <laughs> advocate for earlier. My God. Well, they included breakdancing break <laughs> this year. We might see Fla some booty claps in the breakdancing. Flag football's coming in four years, so who knows what's going to be included within the next few decades in the Olympic Games. It's interesting, too. So number 15 had 39 American winners. These are any medals, right? Or these are gold medals. Yep. Gold, any silver, medal. and bronze. Okay. 39 for tennis at number 15. And then all the way up until you don't break 100 medals until number six with boxing. And then you go to number one, 827, by far the biggest. And swimming also has a huge lead with 597 compared to number three, wrestling at 142. So number one and two are in the clear lead. And I think that has to do partly with the popularity of those sports as well as the several subcategories under each of them. Yeah, I tried to find out for each of these categories which country had the most medals of just that particular sport because I thought that would have been an interesting breakout. Could not find that information. You could have just said, I suck, and ended it there. I would have understood. I have... To no one's surprise, disappointed you all again. It's true, but I hope you listeners were not disappointed. And if you liked this episode, please, I joked about it earlier, but we really would appreciate your five-star reviews on your favorite podcast listening platform. Buster, next week, I'm going to be back for 275 with Anna Keller. Buster, I can tell you're, you're running on fumes at this point. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to mercifully end this thing. I want to thank the listeners for joining us on this Olympic journey. And we'll see you next time. Bye.